So welcome everyone to your adaptive chair yoga practice. And my name is Bobby, and I'll be teaching the class today. And um, so as always, I'd like to begin the yoga practice by inviting you to find a comfortable seat. And so if you're seated in a wheelchair, make sure that your brakes are on or that your chair is turned off. And that your feet are placed evenly on your footrest or on the floor. And so begin with your head center, chair over your chest. Inhale and take a moment to set an intention to consciously enter into the present. Turn your head and I will mirror you looking over your right shoulder and double exhale, making the sound. It's symbolic of leaving the past behind. Inhale, turn your head looking over your left shoulder as you exhale through pursed lips, gently blowing. So symbolic of extending the future beyond. Inhale, bring your head back center. Taking a few more breaths. And then as you're ready, bring your chin towards your front center. If your eyes are closed, gently blink your eyes. And so let's roll our shoulders back and down just a few times. And then as you're ready, I'd like to invite you to join me in a mindful movement. So as you're ready, reach your arm way up in the sky. And then slowly float your arm. So gentle movement, reaching up way up to the sky. And then slowly floating. So let's link a gentle breath to the movement on inhale, reach your arm up, full length of your arm. On exhale, float your arm down on the full length of So it's as if on our inhale, there's a beginning, middle, and end. On exhale, a beginning, middle, and end. Release both arms down by your side, wherever it feels comfortable for you. And rest your hands on your thigh. And we'll begin the practice on the other side. So as you're ready, reach your arm way up to the sky. And then slowly float in. So adding a gentle breath or moving on inhale, reaching your arm up, full length of the air. On exhale, float your arm down, full length. It's as if on your inhale, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. On exhale, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Release both arms down by your side or wherever feels comfortable for you. And so I'm like, I'm ready to reach both arms way up to the sky. And so maybe placing the hands on the back of our head, or if it feels better for you, folding your fingers in, pressing to the palms of your hands. And together we can shout out. I am strong. I am fearless. And with a sigh of relief, we reach your arms and hands. Roll your shoulders back and down just a few times. Rest your hands on your thighs, palm up and down as desired. 
Maybe even taking a moment to notice which feels better for you. The rest of your palm stays up, or does it feel better in the rest of your palm stays down? So if you are tired, I'd like to invite you to explore resting your palms face up, open to receive. If you are feeling restless, scattered, palms face down, you can help ground it. And then when you're ready, I'd like to invite you to begin to move your gaze down. And so moving away from the busyness in our brains and more towards our heart. Inviting your facial muscles to soften the knees. Our jaws relaxed. Breath is calm. And then when you're ready, I'd like to invite you to place your hands on your booty belly. Maybe one hand on your yoga belly, the area between your navel and your pubic bone, and your other hand on your heart pain. And bring your awareness to your breath without changing anything. Are you noticing that as we inhale, things expand? And as we exhale, things contract. Notice, is your breath long? Is it smooth or is your breath jagged? And breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Or maybe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Or if it feels better for you than breathing in and out through your mouth. And so if you're congested or you have an obstruction, breathe in whatever way. And so from here, I'd like to share with you a simple breathing exercise that research shows can help with pain management, pain care, if you will, and anxiety. As you're ready, begin to deepen your inhale, open your exhale. We lengthen our exhale and as calm as the nervous system. And then see if you can begin to smooth out your breath. So that your inhales and your exhales are about the same duration and quality. At any point, if you notice that your mind gets distracted and wants to wander off, know that that's okay. That's the nature of our mind. And simply bring your awareness back to you. And now I'd like to invite you to see if you can add a quality of softness. So you might imagine that you just tasted something delicious. And see if you can bring that same softness to the areas of the body that you feel really too tight or not. Our breath is long and smooth and soft as we breathe in and as we breathe out. And just for a few more breaths, as long as feels comfortable, I can invite you to keep a simple breathing exercise for. At any point, if you notice that your mind gets distracted, as often as it will. I'd like to invite you to bring your awareness to the sound of your energy. And so I can hear chickens in my neighbor's yard. 
which is sort of the whoosh of a vehicle that is for freeway. Clicks and cracks of the soul and humble body. Maybe noticing the gentle tone of my voice. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Your natural rhythm. And maybe observing the rise and fall of your chest and your belly. And then bring your chin towards your heart center. And gradually blink your eyes. And so we're falling awake, not asleep. Falling awake, not asleep. And so take a moment to notice if you felt the subtle shift in your energy. And so we've begun the process of tuning into our bodies and connecting to our breath. And so the bridge between our body and our mind is when you're ready, you release your arms by your sides, fire your palms open, open up your arms, and breathe. So shaking and sweet. And so if anything I share with you feels uncomfortable, if it hurts, skip it. Come back to your breath. And so if we're focused on the breath, we are practicing here. If you ever feel dizziness or nausea in your practice, come out of the point of the mind. If you need to leave the space for any reason, prepare yourself by all means do. You're more than welcome to come back. And so at this time, I'd like to invite you to walk your hips forward in the chair, if that's available to you and you would like. If you need the back of the chair for support, honor that. So yoga meets us right where we are. And so I had actually a little sticky mat on my back. And I'm going to place that on the floor. And so let's read, folks. Ground through your feet. Center and ground through the soles of your feet. We want to keep our connection with Mother Nature. And we tend to start losing it. You're down through your sits bones. Maybe notice where your bottom and your thighs are in contact with your seat. And then energy moving in two directions. Lengthen from the tip of your tailbone all through the crown of your head. So you might imagine that you have a thread on top of your head and it's pulling you way up in the sky. Roll your shoulders back and down just a few. Tuck your chin in slightly. And then when you're ready, I'd like to invite you to bring your hands together. Rub your palms vigorously. So energize your hands and warm up your feet. And then bring some of that lovely prana, your own loving energy. Palm open, crossing over to the side of your neck. So at the bottom, from the bottom of your ear, tap onto your shoulder. And then reach back and give yourself a pat on the back. And then other side, tapping from the bottom of our ear, down to your shoulder. Reach back, give yourself a pat on the back. And then when you're ready, I'd like to invite you to make a soft fist, bring it up to your jaw, and create resistance by pressing your chin against your soft fist. And then switch sides. 
So we hold a lot of tension in our jaw. Sometimes taking that in from one day to the next. When you're ready, make a soft breath, bring it up to your third eye, middle of your forehead. And so a lot of ideas about where our third eye is and what it is. So it's not rocket science. So it's just the front part of our brain. And when you put gentle pressure here, it can be calm and firm. When you're ready, release your arm by your side, spiraling the palms open, softening your elbow. Bring your hand up to the other side of your head. And then again, creating resistance. So it's as if your head wants to move towards your shoulder, but your hand's stopping. So if you have a yoga buddy that can help you with the practice, these movements. That's always lovely. The partner work. So reaching up and over, push your hand on the side of your head, creating it. Ready, release. If it's available to you and you would like, bring your hands up to the back of your head. Bring up the knee and then press your head gently against your feet. And so let's um, practice some exercises to release the tension in our face. And so it's quite surprised to find out that so the most difficult place to release tension for most of us is in our face. And so we'll make some faces. We're not going to be real pretty, however um, effective in <laughs> releasing tension. So when you're ready, open your mouth wide. And, and so let's open our mouth wide again. This time, see if you can bring your lips over your feet. And, and this time, let's clench your teeth in. And, so an invitation to bring your hands together again. Move it out of your palms when you say, warm up your hands, energize your hands. And then an invitation to bring your hands up to your eyes, sweep and cross your eyes. And then reaching your arm out in front of you, tap on the top of your hand, really up to your shoulder. Bring your palm to the side. Other arms, so tap the top of you, up to your shoulder. Palm face up, tap it down. Then bring your hands to your Buddha belly and massage your organs. The liver of gallbladder, stomach. And then if you like, hinging from the hands, come forward a little and massage your lower back. And so if you can reach up a little higher where your adrenal glands and your kidneys live, massaging. And so our adrenal glands and kidneys are close to the surface. It's important to keep this area of our body warm. And when you're ready, press it down. Knees, bring your arms forward and let them And when you're ready, just sweep down along your thighs or knees. Sweep down to wherever you can reach comfortably. And then sweep back up. And one more time, sweep down along your thighs and knees, reaching down. So bring your hands in front of you, two inches apart. Soften your gaze and close your eyes, soften. And notice any subtle sensations.
So, I'd like to invite you to bring your hands to your heart, lift your elbows slightly. And you're noticing how it feels to have your hands in this place. Here. And so, if this makes you lose your balance at all, choose another place with your hands. It may be your hands in your feet again. And so, we'll transition into a practice for sun again. If you're ready, inhale, so your arms up and away. Maybe more practice with your feet. And on your exhale, bring your palms back together. Let your heart clean. So an invitation to keep this gentle movement in your own time and way. And so if you'd like, imagine the sun at your heart seat. On your inhales, as you extend your arms away from you, imagine the rays of the sun radiating on all around you. And then gather that light and bring it back inside. It's a symbol of the light that's always inside. Okay. Inhale. And then if you'd like, on exhale, chanting Om or making a humming sound. So sound has a vibration. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Place one hand on your yoga belly, the other on your front. And take a moment, maybe feel the rise and fall of your chest and your back. And remembering your sound telephone, your attention to your back. And then drop your chin towards your chest, gradually lift your arm. And then shake your hand to your chest. So we we could just we do the bum down a little bigger. Okay. So let's do a warm up for our neck and our shoulders. And so I don't know anyone in the business has to push it in. And so of course sitting up comfortably, effortlessly. Tuck your chin in slightly and release the back of your neck. And then we'll begin the simple method. Our Buddha belly is soft, breath is quiet. And see if you can resist the temptation to move your head to its full range of motion. And as you're ready, other direction. Move your head from side to side as if not in the head. Move your head up and down as if not in the head. I am strong. I am good. And the name is tipping your head from side to side. And transition to shoulder circles. So rolling your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. A soft, organic movement. And other direction. We alternate from side to side. So you can imagine that you're swimming in the back to it. And 
forwards and dog paddle. And then when you're ready, palms face up, take your arms in front of you, and then take your hands to your shoulders or wherever you can reach comfortable, and then stretch your Take your hands to your shoulders, stretch your and then maybe explore alternating from side to side. So anytime we move asymmetrically, this is good for our brain health, particularly in memory. When you're ready, release your arms by your sides, firing your palms open, take your hands to your shoulders, and then begin to make circles with your elbow points. So you can imagine that you're drawing circles on the wall, wandering, maybe stretching, crazy. See if you can create a little half smile, like a little booty smile. And so when we smile, it releases some light. We want a nice juicy mouth, pretty juicy body, and then other direction. And slowly from out of the movement, release your arms by your side. Rest your hands on your thighs or palm up or down as desired. And then take a moment to check in. And notice how she breath. Notice any subtle sensations. Trust that the sensations are there. It's not going to be a rocket ship across the sky. And then we can um, practice the movements for our hands, stretch your palms. So you might imagine starfish and bear crawl and suck. Stretch your palms. Bear claws, soft, stretch, bear claws, soft, circle your wrists in one direction. Circle your wrists in the opposite direction. Maybe notice it's one of your wrists tighter than you tend to be tighter from one side than the other. And then imagine you're playing piano. So we're getting the Sonol feel through. Mother Nature's WD-40 forms all in front of you. Bring your palms face up. Circle your thumbs in one direction. Circle your thumbs in the opposite direction. We focus on what we can do. I am, I am, I am. Interlace your fingers loosely and then moving in, making the infinity symbol. So when we flow with our breath, magical things. Linking our breath with our movements. And move in the opposite direction. Making a little more challenging. Release your hands, reach your arms up to the sky. So stretch into the stretch. Get bigger. Place your hands on the back of your head, and folding your fingers in, pressing into the palms of your feet. And together we can shout out, I am strong. I am fearless. And with a sigh of relief, release your arms down by your side. Roll your shoulders back and down to sit your feet. And then see so we'll shake out a combined thing. Take a moment and we'll notice how you feel.
Um, and so from here, let's um, do a practice called finding our balance. And so balance, the equal distribution of presence rather than finding balance. So I'd like to invite you to rest your hands on your thighs. So you have closer to your hip creases. Sitting up nice and tall with a flat back hinging from the hips rock forward. And so it's not about seeing how far we can go. You just know that just right now we have to and slowly come on back to your neutral spine. So hinging from your hands, walk forward. Noticing that sometimes when we come into forward bends, our chin wants to jump forward. So if your chin is turning forward, and so in your own time and rhythm for a few more breaths. I can invite you to keep a simple moving form, this gentle movement. We finish up the movement in your arm, back to your neutral form. Release your arms down by your side and rest your hands on your thumb. Palm up or down as we go. And take a moment to notice how you speak. And then so when you're ready, like releasing your arms down by your side, you're going to shift your weight from side to side. So extend beyond your wrist, beyond your And sometimes it can be interesting to close our eyes as we practice as well. And slowly come on back and with your spine. Rest your hands on your thighs and take a moment to know the pattern. And so when you're ready, if it's available to you and you like, if you're ready to shift your weight to the side, pull the belly flush in your way first. Sit down, shut down. And then when you're ready, arms bent low in front of you. Find a space straight ahead that you can gaze on softly that helps focus on you. And then begin to twist from side to side. Remember your little Buddha smile. So smile when you're happy. And then bend your elbows if you'd like to challenge yourself a little more. If you can just reach to the sky. Inhale to one side. Exhale to the other. If you'd like to challenge yourself a little more, you can bring your elbows up in line with your shoulders. Moving with your breath. And so sometimes if our breath is audible, it helps us to focus the mind. Inhale. Slowly come back to your neutral spine. Release your arms down by your side. Rest your hands on your thighs and take a moment to notice that. And when you're ready to breath, come back to the center of your body. And so moving on, I can invite you to bend your elbows and toes with your palms facing each other. And I will marry you. So take the hold of your right elbow forward with your left hand. Draw your right arm in towards the right arm. Soften your right shoulder away from the ear. Then maybe on an inhale into your hand. As you're ready, slowly release. 
and arm down on the thumb. And then sit your straight out, and then we'll practice it with you on the other side. And then do elbows, palms facing each other. Take hold of your left arm and hand. Right here. Draw your arm into Soften the top of your head. And maybe on your head, you reach your head. And so you can find the pose of this sensation. And so head, neck, shoulders, all one back. So let's uh, create these deeper versions of the movements of the spine. So let's begin with the side bend. And so I'd like to invite you to take hold of the underneath of the right side of your chair. Or it might be if you're in a manual chair, you take hold of the heel. So whatever feels stable for you. And so remembering, gentle reminder that we never forfeit balance if we propose a move. So release your right arm down by your side, spiral your palm open. With a soft bend in your elbow and inhale, reach your arm quickly up and hold. Turn your gaze down towards the floor to release your neck and then breathe into your root. Can you imagine breathing in below your root? Slowly come out of the pose on this side. Take hold of the underneath of the right side of your chair. Release your left arm down by your side. Spiral your palm open with a soft bend in your elbow and reach your arm way up and forward. Turn your gaze down towards the floor and release your and so we're stretching from our armpit down the inner region all the way down to our feet. Keep that left sit bone on the chest. And slowly from the outer bones to the side. Release both arms down by your side and rest your hands on your back. Palm up or down, hands to the And notice how your breath. Notice any subtle sensation. And so let's come into a gentle back. So as you're ready, hands, palms, and stand on your thighs. Draw your hands in towards your hip creases. As you do, begin to turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. So it might be that your eyes meet this where the ceiling meets the wall. Be careful not to throw your head back. And so you'll know your head's back too far if it's difficult to stop. And we'll stay here for a few breaths as long as it's good. And then as you're ready, slowly come back to your just spine. And then when you're ready, let's begin to round our upper back. So as you round your upper back, draw your chin in towards your chest. On inhale, arch your upper back, so sliding your shoulders away from you. Round your upper back. As you round your upper back, draw your chin in towards your chest. And slowly come on back to your position. And so let's come into a movement called cat and cat. So gentle warm up for our spine. And so for this practice, I'm going to turn my chair sideways in the hopes that that will demonstrate the movement a little better. 
And so if you can bring your feet a little wider than the other hip bone distance, go for it. And so knees are in line with our ankles. If we get on your toes, turn to outer. And then if your hands resting on your thighs, on inhale, arch your back. So your spine looks like a smile. Be careful not to throw your head back. Keep your head in line with your spine. On exhale, round your back. As you round your back, draw your belly in towards your spine. Inhale, arch. Exhale. So in your own time and rhythm, I'd like to invite you to keep this gentle massage your response forward. And so move in a way that feels natural for you. So natural that your movements and your breath become flat. And slowly finishing out the movement of your arm. One back to a neutral spot. Release your arms down by your side or wherever it feels comfortable for you. And take a moment to let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Your natural rhythm, maybe observing the rise and fall of your chest and your back. And so from here, let's go into a seated twist. And so if you're able to bring your feet a little wider than other hip bone distance, um, knees in line with your ankles, toes turned out a little. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring your right hand over to the outside of your left knee thigh. Your left hand comes beside you on the chair or behind you. And so you'll notice that we're already coming into our twist. So making sure that we're seated up tall, not coming into the foot stand. Inhale, lengthen your spine. On your exhale, see if you can go into your twist a little deep. So our head turns down. Close your eyes softly, focused inward or softly. And slowly, unwind, come back to center. Take a moment. And let's get into the pose on the other side. So reach your left hand over to your right knee and thigh. Right hand comes beside you on the chair behind you, wherever you can reach your hand. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale. And so head turns last. See if you can resist the temptation to turn your head to its full range of movement. Soft, booty belly, quiet. And slowly come back to the neutral spine. Take a moment. And then rock and roll. Let's slow in and out of the twist. Reaching up the spine and inhaling. And then twisting. Inhaling, reaching up. And then twisting. A few more times in your own time and rhythm. Slowing with your breath. And finish up the move and bend your arms. Float your arms down. Rest your hands on your thighs, palm up and down. And into the side. Soft, good about it, quiet. Mm -hmm. 
And so I am thinking that maybe this idea will come down off the mountain. And so come seated comfortably back in your chair. In preparation for a short guided meditation, and from there we'll come into the final meditation. And so if you have a blanket or something you can place in your box, that can be grounding. If you have a little a sticky mat that you can roll up or blanket, place it along your spine. And so this helps counter collapsing in the muscles before and it won't stick you along your spines. The blanket on your thighs can be grounded. And then when you're ready, I'd like to invite you to bring your hands into a mudra. So mudras were created to help us focus our mind. And so the chanting helps to lengthen our exhale. It's calming for our nervous system. The mudras help us focus our mind. And so the mudra I'd like to share with you today is a diamond mudra. And so for this one, we place our right hand on your left palm. And so this mudra works really well. And so if you like, think of when your hands come together as a symbol of connecting with your higher self and your higher power. Draw your hands in towards your head closely. And then look down and into your heart, see what you can see. And then imagine that you're breathing into your heart. And so to the meditation practice I'd like to share with you is um, one from the Yoga Sutras, which is kind of a big book of yoga. And so we go with that book. Through sustained focus in meditation on our patterns, habits, and conditioning. We gain knowledge and understanding of our past and how we can change the patterns that aren't serving us to live more freely and fully. And so I'll read it one more time. Through sustained focus and meditation on our patterns, habits, and conditions, we gain knowledge and understanding of our past and how we can change the patterns. That aren't serving us to live more freely. So come into whatever version of your final relaxation you have. And so if you have the ability to recline in your chair, supporting your head and neck, and the ground is to then making sure that you're comfortable, seated comfortably, you have a blanket in your spine. Close your eyes softly if that feels comfortable for you or soften your face. We're going to soften our gaze and it's calling for our nervous Soft for me, yoga belly, the area between the knees and the feet. 
the soft palms by the breath. Allow your breath to reflect the focus. Relax your jaw and clench your teeth. Let there be a little space to breathe in soggy lower jaw. Soften around your temples. Soften the area between your eyebrows. Wide Silently on the inhale, you have to relax and on exhale, go. Inhale, left, exhale. If it's challenging to quiet the mind, just placing our hands on the belly and bring our awareness to our breath. Let's see if we can find the right Without changing anything, bring your awareness back to your breath. Thank your body. Thank your body. And the body is the best home and mind will ever have. And now see if you can begin to deepen your inhale and lengthen. Wiggle your fingers and toes, hands and feet, waking up. And if you like, you can rub the tips of your fingers with your thumbs and come on up so you can shut your ears. Okay. Let's take a deep breath. And so, an invitation to bring your hands to your heart center. Lift your heart to your hands, bow your head to your heart. Take a moment to honor yourself and each other for sharing the yoga practice today. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. And thank you to the, all the seen and unseen um, things that make it possible for me to share this amazing gift with you. I got the gift with you today. Teacher me honors and appreciates the teacher in each of you. Thank you. And so notice how you feel before and after your practice. So not just right after the practice, but you notice the next few days how you feel. And so if you don't feel anything, you do that when you work hard enough. If you're still feeling after today's, could be that you're in two days. And so yeah, questions or feedback, I'm always open, I'd love to hear.